Computational chemistry is a branch of chemistry that uses computer simulation to assist in solving chemical problems. It uses methods of theoretical chemistry, incorporated into efficient computer programs, to calculate the structures and properties of molecules and solids. Its necessity arises from the fact that a euro apart from relatively recent results concerning the hydrogen molecular ion a euro the quantum many body problem cannot be solved analytically, much less in closed form. While computational results normally complement the information obtained by chemical experiments, it can in some cases predict either two unobserved chemical phenomena. It is widely used in the design of new drugs and materials. Examples of such properties are structure, absolute and relative energies, electronic charge distributions, dipoles and higher multipole moments, vibrational frequencies, reactivity or other spectroscopic quantities, and cross-sections for collision with other particles. The methods employed cover both static and dynamic situations. In all cases the computer time and other resources increase rapidly with the size of the system being studied. That system can be a single molecule, a group of molecules, or a solid. Computational chemistry methods range from highly accurate to very approximate. Highly accurate methods are typically feasible only for small systems. Ab initio methods are based entirely on quantum mechanics and basic physical constants. Other methods are called empirical or semi-empirical because they employ additional empirical parameters. Both ab initio and semi-empirical approaches involve approximations. These range from simplified forms of the first principles equations that are easier or faster to solve, to approximations limiting the size of the system, to fundamental approximations to the underlying equations that are required to achieve any solution to them at all. For example, most ab initio calculations make the born a euro oppenheimer approximation, which greatly simplifies the underlying Schrödinger paragraph Dingo equation by assuming that the nuclei remain in place during the calculation. In principle, ab initio methods eventually converge to the exact solution of the underlying equations as the number of approximations is reduced. In practice, however, it is impossible to eliminate all approximations, and residual error inevitably remains. The goal of computational chemistry is to minimize this residual error while keeping the calculations tractable. In some cases, the details of electronic structure are less important than the long time phase space behavior of molecules. This is the case in conformational studies of proteins and protein ligand binding thermodynamics. Classical approximations to the potential energy surface are employed as they are computationally less intensive than electronic calculations, to enable longer simulations of molecular dynamics. Furthermore, cheminformatics uses even more empirical methods like machine learning based on physicochemical properties. One typical problem in cheminformatics is to predict the binding affinity of drug molecules to a given target. History, building on the founding discoveries and theories in the history of quantum mechanics, the first theoretical calculations in chemistry were those of Walter He Eitler and Fritz London in 1927. The books that were influential in the early development of computational quantum chemistry include Linus Pauling and E. Bright Wilson's 1935 introduction to quantum mechanics a euro with applications to chemistry, Ehring, Walter and Kimball's 1944 quantum chemistry, he Eitler's 1945 elementary wave mechanics a euro with applications to quantum chemistry, and later Coulson's 1952 textbook Valence, each of which served as primary references for chemists in the decades to follow. With the development of efficient computer technology in the 1940s, the solutions of elaborate wave equations for complex atomic systems began to be a realizable objective. In the early 1950s, the first semi-empirical atomic orbital calculations were carried out. Theoretical chemists became extensive users of the early digital computers. A very detailed account of such use in the United Kingdom is given by Smith and Sutcliffe. The first ab initio Hartray euro foc calculations on diatomic molecules were carried out in 1956 at MIT, using a basis set of Slater orbitals. For diatomic molecules, a systematic study using a minimum basis set and the first calculation with a larger basis set were published by Ranzel and Niesbet respectively in 1960. 
The first polyatomic calculations using Gaussian orbitals were carried out in the late 1950s. The first configuration interaction calculations were carried out in Cambridge on the EDSAC computer in the 1950s using Gaussian orbitals by boys and co-workers. By 1971, when a bibliography of ab initio calculations was published, the largest molecules included were naphthalene and azulene. Abstracts of many earlier developments in ab initio theory have been published by Schaefer. In 1964, Ha one quarter CKEL method calculations method for the determination of electron energies of molecular orbitals of I euro electrons in conjugated hydrocarbon systems, of molecules ranging in complexity from butadiene and benzene to ovaline, were generated on computers at Berkeley and Oxford. These empirical methods were replaced in the 1960s by semi-empirical methods such as CNDO. In the early 1970s, Efficient ab initio computer programs such as ATMOL, Gaussian, IBMOL, and Polyatom, began to be used to speed up ab initio calculations of molecular orbitals. Of these four programs, only Gaussian, now massively expanded, is still in use, but many other programs are now in use. At the same time, the methods of molecular mechanics, such as MM2, were developed, primarily by Norman Allinger. One of the first mentions of the term computational chemistry can be found in the 1970 book Computers and Their Role in the Physical Sciences by Sidney Fenbach and Abraham Haskell Taub, where they state it seems, therefore, that computational chemistry can finally be more and more of a reality. During the 1970s, widely different methods began to be seen as part of a new emerging discipline of computational chemistry. The Journal of Computational Chemistry was first published in 1980. Computational chemistry has featured in a number of Nobel Prize awards, most notably in 1998 and 2013. Walter Cohn, for his development of the density functional theory, and John Popel, for his development of computational methods in quantum chemistry, received the 1998 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Martin Karplus, Michael Levitt and Arie Warshall received the 2013 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the development of multiscale models for complex chemical systems. Fields of application The term theoretical chemistry may be defined as a mathematical description of chemistry, whereas computational chemistry is usually used when a mathematical method is sufficiently well developed that it can be automated for implementation on a computer. In theoretical chemistry, chemists, Physicists and mathematicians develop algorithms and computer programs to predict atomic and molecular properties and reaction paths for chemical reactions. Computational chemists, in contrast, may simply apply existing computer programs and methodologies to specific chemical questions. There are two different aspects to computational chemistry. Computational studies can be carried out to find a starting point for a laboratory synthesis or to assist in understanding experimental data, such as the position and source of spectroscopic peaks. Computational studies can be used to predict the possibility of so far entirely unknown molecules or to explore reaction mechanisms that are not readily studied by experimental means. Thus, computational chemistry can assist the experimental chemist or it can challenge the experimental chemist to find entirely new chemical objects. Several major areas may be distinguished within computational chemistry, the prediction of the molecular structure of molecules by the use of the simulation of forces, or more accurate quantum chemical methods, to find stationary points on the energy surface as the position of the nuclei is varied. Storing and searching for data on chemical entities. Identifying correlations between chemical structures and properties. Computational approaches to help in the efficient synthesis of compounds. Computational approaches to design molecules that interact in specific ways with other molecules. Accuracy. The words exact and perfect do not appear here, as very few aspects of chemistry can be computed exactly. However, almost every aspect of chemistry can be described in a qualitative or approximate quantitative computational scheme. Molecules consist of nuclei and electrons, so the methods of quantum mechanics apply. Computational chemists often attempt to solve the non-relativistic Schröder-Paragraph-Dinger equation, with relativistic corrections added, 
although some progress has been made in solving the fully relativistic Dirac equation. In principle, it is possible to solve the Schrepp paragraph Dingo equation in either its time dependent or time independent form, as appropriate for the problem in hand. In practice, this is not possible except for very small systems. Therefore, a great number of approximate methods strive to achieve the best trade off between accuracy and computational cost. Accuracy can always be improved with greater computational cost. Significant errors can present themselves in ab initio models comprising many electrons, due to the computational expense of full relativistic conclusive methods. This complicates the study of molecules interacting with high atomic mass unit atoms such as transitional metals and their catalytic properties. Present algorithms in computational chemistry can routinely calculate the properties of molecules that contain up to about 40 electrons with sufficient accuracy. Errors for energies can be less than a few kilojoule per mole. For geometries, bond lengths can be predicted within a few picometers and bond angles within 0.5 degrees. The treatment of larger molecules that contain a few dozen electrons is computationally tractable by approximate methods such as density functional theory. There is some dispute within the field whether or not the latter methods are sufficient to describe complex chemical reactions, such as those in biochemistry. Large molecules can be studied by semi-empirical approximate methods. Even larger molecules are treated by classical mechanics methods that employ what are called molecular mechanics. In QMM methods, small portions of large complexes are treated quantum mechanically, and the remainder is treated approximately. Methods A single molecular formula can represent a number of molecular isomers. Each isomer is a local minimum on the energy surface created from the total energy as a function of the coordinates of all the nuclei. A stationary point is a geometry such that the derivative of the energy with respect to all displacements of the nuclei is zero. A local minimum is a stationary point where all such displacements lead to an increase in energy. The local minimum that is lowest is called the global minimum and corresponds to the most stable isomer. If there is one particular coordinate change that leads to a decrease in the total energy in both directions, the stationary point is a transition structure and a coordinate is the reaction coordinate. This process of determining stationary points is called geometry optimization. The determination of molecular structure by geometry optimization became routine only after efficient methods for calculating the first derivatives of the energy with respect to all atomic coordinates became available. Evaluation of the related second derivatives allows the prediction of vibrational frequencies if harmonic motion is estimated. More importantly, it allows for the characterization of stationary points. The frequencies are related to the eigenvalues of the Hessian matrix, which contains second derivatives. If the eigenvalues are all positive, then the frequencies are all real and the stationary point is a local minimum. If one eigenvalue is negative, then the stationary point is a transition structure. If more than one eigenvalue is negative, then the stationary point is a more complex one, and is usually of little interest. When one of these is found, it is necessary to move the search away from it if the experimenter is looking solely for local minima and transition structures. The total energy is determined by approximate solutions of the time-dependent Schrepp paragraph Dingo equation usually with no relativistic terms included, and by making use of the Bonner-Euro-Oppenheimer approximation, which allows for the separation of electronic and nuclear motions, thereby simplifying the Schrepp paragraph Dingo equation. This leads to the evaluation of the total energy as a sum of the electronic energy at fixed nuclei positions and the repulsion energy of the nuclei. A notable exception are certain approaches called direct quantum chemistry which treat electrons and nuclei on a common footing. Density functional methods and semi-empirical methods are variants on the major theme. For very large systems, the relative total energies can be compared using molecular mechanics. The ways of determining the total energy to predict molecular structures are equals ab initio methods equals the programs used in computational chemistry are based on many different quantum chemical methods that solve the molecular Schrepp paragraph Dingo equation associated with the molecular Hamiltonian. 
methods that do not include any empirical or semi-empirical parameters in their equations a euro being derived directly from theoretical principles, with no inclusion of experimental data a euro are called ab initio methods. This does not imply that the solution is an exact one. They are all approximate quantum mechanical calculations. It means that a particular approximation is rigorously defined on first principles and then solved within an error margin that is qualitatively known beforehand. If numerical iterative methods have to be employed, the aim is to iterate until full machine accuracy is obtained. The simplest type of ab initio electronic structure calculation is the Hartray Euro Fox scheme, an extension of molecular orbital theory in which the correlated electron a euro electron repulsion is not specifically taken into account. Only its average effect is included in the calculation. As the basis set size is increased, the energy and wave function tend towards a limit called the Hartray euro fock limit. Many types of calculations begin with a Hartray euro fock calculation and subsequently correct for electron a euro electron repulsion, referred to also as electronic correlation. As these methods are pushed to the limit, they approach the exact solution of the non-relativistic paragraph dingo equation. In order to obtain exact agreement with experiment, it is necessary to include relativistic and spin-orbit terms, both of which are only really important for heavy atoms. In all of these approaches, in addition to the choice of method, it is necessary to choose a basis set. This is a set of functions, usually centered on the different atoms in the molecule, which are used to expand the molecular orbitals with the LCAO AMSATs. Ab initio methods need to define a level of theory and a basis set. The Hartray Euro Fock wave function is a single configuration or determinant. In some cases, particularly for bond breaking processes, this is quite inadequate, and several configurations need to be used. Here, the coefficients of the configurations and the coefficients of the basis functions are optimized together. The total molecular energy can be evaluated as a function of the molecular geometry. In other words, the potential energy surface. Such a surface can be used for reaction dynamics. The stationary points of the surface lead to predictions of different isomers and the transition structures for conversion between isomers but these can be determined without a full knowledge of the complete surface. A particularly important objective, called computational thermochemistry, is to calculate thermochemical quantities such as the enthalpy of formation to chemical accuracy. Chemical accuracy is the accuracy required to make realistic chemical predictions and is generally considered to be 1 kilocalorie per mole or 4 kilojoules per mole. To reach that accuracy in an economic way it is necessary to use a series of post hartray euro fock methods and combine the results. These methods are called quantum chemistry composite methods. Equals density functional methods equals. Density functional theory methods are often considered to be ab initio methods for determining the molecular electronic structure, even though many of the most common functionals use parameters derived from empirical data or from more complex calculations. In DFT, the total energy is expressed in terms of the total one electron density rather than the wave function. In this type of calculation, there is an approximate Hamiltonian and an approximate expression for the total electron density. DFT methods can be very accurate for little computational cost. Some methods combine the density functional exchange functional with the Hartray Euro Fock exchange term and are known as hybrid functional methods. Equals semi empirical and empirical methods equals semi empirical quantum chemistry methods are based on the Hartray Euro Fock formalism, but make many approximations and obtain some parameters from empirical data. They are very important in computational chemistry for treating large molecules where the full Hartray Euro Fock method without the approximations is too expensive. The use of empirical parameters appears to allow some inclusion of correlation effects into the methods. Semi empirical methods follow what are often called empirical methods, where the two electron part of the Hamiltonian is not explicitly included. For I Euro electron systems, this was the HAR 1 quarter CKEL method proposed by Eric HAR 1 quarter CKEL, and for all valence electron systems, the extended HAR 1 quarter CKEL method proposed by Roald Hoffman. 
equals molecular mechanics equals. In many cases, large molecular systems can be modeled successfully while avoiding quantum mechanical calculations entirely. Molecular mechanics simulations, for example, use a single classical expression for the energy of a compound, for instance the harmonic oscillator. All constants appearing in the equations must be obtained beforehand from experimental data or ab initio calculations. The database of compounds used for parameterization, that is, the resulting set of parameters and functions is called the force field, is crucial to the success of molecular mechanics calculations. A force field parameterized against a specific class of molecules, for instance proteins, would be expected to only have any relevance when describing other molecules of the same class. These methods can be applied to proteins and other large biological molecules, and allow studies of the approach and interaction of potential drug molecules. Equals methods for solids equals. Computational chemical methods can be applied to solid state physics problems. The electronic structure of a crystal is in general described by a band structure which defines the energies of electron orbitals for each point in the Brillouin zone. Ab initio and semi-empirical calculations yield orbital energies. Therefore, they can be applied to band structure calculations. Since it is time-consuming to calculate the energy for a molecule, it is even more time-consuming to calculate them for the entire list of points in the Brillouin zone. Equals chemical dynamics equals once the electronic and nuclear variables are separated, in the time-dependent approach, the wave packet corresponding to the nuclear degrees of freedom is propagated via the time evolution operator associated to the time-dependent Schrödinger paragraph Dingo equation. In the complementary energy-dependent approach, the time-independent Schrödinger paragraph Dingo equation is solved using the scattering theory formalism. The potential representing the interatomic interaction is given by the potential energy surfaces. In general, the potential energy surfaces are coupled via the vibronic coupling terms. The most popular methods for propagating the wave packet associated to the molecular geometry are the split operator technique, the Chebyshev polynomial, the multi configuration time dependent Hartree method, the semi classical method. Equals molecular dynamics equals. Molecular dynamics use either quantum mechanics, Newton's laws of motion or a mixed model to examine the time-dependent behavior of systems, including vibrations or Brownian motion and reactions. MD combined with density functional theory leads to hybrid models. Interpreting molecular wave functions, the atoms in molecules or QTAIM model of Richard Bader was developed in order to effectively link the quantum mechanical picture of a molecule as an electronic wave function, to chemically useful concepts such as atoms in molecules, functional groups, bonding, the theory of Lewis pairs and the valence bond model. Bader has demonstrated that these empirically useful chemistry concepts can be related to the topology of the observable charge density distribution, whether measured or calculated from a quantum mechanical wave function. QTAIM analysis of molecular wave functions is implemented, for example, in the AML software package. Software packages, there are many self-sufficient software packages used by computational chemists. Some include many methods covering a wide range, while others concentrating on a very specific range or even a single method. Details of most of them can be found in biomolecular modeling programs, proteins, nucleic acid, molecular mechanics programs, quantum chemistry and solid-state physics software supporting several methods. Molecular design software, semi-empirical programs. Valence bond programs. See also. Notes and references. Bibliography, C.J. Kramer Essentials of Computational Chemistry, John Wiley and Sons. T. Clark A. Handbook of Computational Chemistry, Wiley, New York. Adrenskowski Computational Chemistry of Solid State Materials, Wiley VCH. A. K. Hartman, Practical Guide to Computer Simulations, World Scientific F. Jensen Introduction to Computational Chemistry, John Wiley and Sons. K. I. Ramakandran, G. Dawipa and Krishnan Namburi.
PK computational chemistry and molecular modeling principles and applications Springer Verlag GmbH ISBN 978-3-540-77302-3. D. Rogers Computational Chemistry Using the PC, 3rd edition, John Wiley & Sons. P. V. Oshlia. Encyclopedia of Computational Chemistry. Wiley, 1998. ISBN 0-471-96588-X, D. Sherrill. Notes on Quantum Mechanics and Computational Chemistry, 1. J. Simons An Introduction to Theoretical Chemistry, Cambridge ISBN 978-0-521-53042-1. A. Sabo, N. S. Ostlund, Modern Quantum Chemistry, McGraw-Hill. D. Young Computational Chemistry, A Practical Guide for Applying Techniques to Real-World Problems, John Wiley & Sons. D. Young's Introduction to Computational Chemistry. Errol G. Lewis, Computational Chemistry, Introduction to the Theory and Applications of Molecular and Quantum Mechanics, Springer. Specialized Journals on Computational Chemistry. Reviews in Computational Chemistry, Journal of Computational Chemistry, Journal of Chemical Information and Modeling, Journal of Computer-Aided Molecular Design, Journal of Chemical Information and Modeling, Journal of Chemical Theory and Computation, Computational and Theoretical Polymer Science, Computational and Theoretical Chemistry, Journal of Theoretical and Computational Chemistry, Journal of Cheminformatics, Journal of Computer Chemistry Japan, Annual Reports in Computational Chemistry, Computers and Chemical Engineering, Journal of Chemical Software, Molecular Informatics, Journal of Computer-Aided Chemistry, Theoretical Chemistry Accounts. External links, NIST Computational Chemistry Comparison and Benchmark Database, contains a database of thousands of computational and experimental results for hundreds of systems, American Chemical Society Division of Computers in Chemistry. American Chemical Society Computers in Chemistry Division, Resources for Grants, Awards, Contacts and Meetings. CSTB Report Mathematical Research in Materials Science, Opportunities and Perspectives, CSTB Report, 3.320 Atomistic Computer Modeling of Materials 3 MIT Course, Chem 4021-8021 Computational Chemistry Free University of Minnesota Course, Technology Roadmap for Computational Chemistry, Applications of Molecular and Materials Modeling. Impact of Advances in Computing and Communications Technologies on Chemical Science and Technology CSTB Report, MD and Computational Chemistry Applications on GPUs.